I don't know. I mean, what was it, about 26 today? Yeah. It, it kind of gets to 24, and I think it's a lot warmer than that. Mm. Winter. I sent a budgie smiggler in our presence. A budgie smiggler, that's right. Say no more. Smuggler. I reckon you've already had a shower. Probably had a cold one. Nice big feed. Sitting back, relaxing. I've just made 20 odd spring rolls and I've got more to make. Just having a break. And someone else made spring rolls yesterday. And they turned out real good. Bonza, as we say. Warm today, 26. Beautiful. Just laying down. Meditation is always good for you. Now it's 20 degrees still. No wind. Yeah, I know, you've got four or five days of it, mate. Shocking. Next two days are going to be real cold in the morning for you. Then you get a bit of a break, then it comes back in again. The frozen east. Of course, the sad part is that where you live, the coldest month is usually August. They've still got three months to wait for that. And you're getting minuses, I think Canberra was minus six or something, ridiculous. Unless you're right on the coast in New South Wales, you'll get those temperatures. When we lived in Richmond, we'd get down to minus four, minus five. I'm out and about picking my daughter up, so I'm in this bit. Yeah, somebody made some really nice spring rolls, didn't they? We're good. I just made another 25 spring rolls and I've got more to make. Whack them in the freezer. Yeah, I mean, nothing nice than sitting next to a nice fire. At least where we live and it's 20 degrees and you don't need a fire. You sit outside. Got a shed delivered today. Well, it's in boxes, but sheds here. The missus organised a clothesline for herself. Oh, no inspiration for me. No, you did a great job. You should whack the video up, or have you done it already? Have you whacked it up? The ones I make are probably no need to totally you first. I'm not sure what that means. No, it must be Gaelic. I don't understand it. I should wake it up. People enjoy it. See you later, Tony. Keep warm. Check another koala on the fire. Just keep yourself, you know, toasty. Oh, I think I've deciphered it. <coughs> I think it's no need to talk to you first. Right, okay. Got it.
I like your stove top. That was nice. You've got a good sized garden area. <laughs> yeah, the extra ones I'm making tonight are just going in the freezer. I was stick to watching your vids. Okay. You don't want them to hear that sexy voice while you're handling food. I know. Meat. I use pork mince. Break it up really fine and I put my ginger in with the pork. And of course, I've already cooked the veggies and then I put all the pork. There's, there's not a lot of meat in each spring roll by the time it's finished, but there's a bit. Probably, I guess, 15% meat. Uh, I got the shed delivered today. That'll get put up next Wednesday and Mr. Gangel organised a clothesline for herself that will be coming next Tuesday, I think. And what else did we do? Oh, that's right. I painted the laundry architrave doors and the back of the kitchen door because it hadn't been painted properly, so I painted that. I painted outside a little bit on a beam guard down the front door. I replanted, I took out the basil, hung that up. Oh. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, I did stuff. See ya. I think Buddy's gone. Another man in uniform's knocked at the door. Hey, Buddy, is you home? Yes, man. Come on, man. She's picking her yeah, no, she said she was. She's gone like the wind. Da, da, da. I planted the chives. Yeah, a little bit today. Mr. K. Angel cooked dinner. I had a night off. I showed the bargain chops I got. I'm not sure if it's working. I think I haven't messaged you. Oh. Okay. Good morning, VMAC. How are you? It's warm here. It's 26 today. Nah, it wasn't warm. I still have the jumper on. But even now, it's 20 degrees. No wind. Beautiful. Midsummer Canadian day. The east coast of my country, however, is freezing. They get minus four, minus five, but we're not. Twenty-two. Yeah, that's when you get a bit. A lot of people get a bit crook sometimes. Big differential in temperatures. Kids actually. Kids get runny noses and stuff. Their bodies don't adjust to that big change. And our daughter's little chihuahua, the little black and brindle white one, stood on a bee today. But she wasn't too happy. So did the vet take the little sting out? I didn't ask any of that. I think it might have just been the after effect. I just asked how she was. Hmm. 22 degrees in Canada. Beautiful, they'll all be out. Surfing, 
some making. But everyone's back playing sport. We went to, where do we go today? We go to Bunnings? No, just the shop. Just the shop, yeah. Just like, like a, a pandemic had never happened here. Must be pretty well under control now in Canada, I guess. I haven't seen Canada's figures for a few weeks. You made curry, yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Did the rest of the family eat it? Imagine they would. You'd probably put onions and lentils and all sorts of goodies with it. Potatoes, I imagine. And what's your curry of choice? I like all sorts, but the wife only likes musselman, really. A mild curry. Yeah, that's the point. It doesn't really stand out as a flavour. Uh, I suppose in some countries it's a staple food for different regions that sort of have a lot of it. But for what it is, there's a lot of faffing around. Yeah, I like hot madras, vindaloo, but not the wife. She likes musselman. You don't like hot curry, do you? No. Even sometimes when you make a soup, if you start the base off in the pan with a bit of butter, and just even half a teaspoon of curry powder, and mix it around and then do your ingredients. You've sort of got that hint of curry in the soup. Yeah, no, I'm the same. I've just made uh, 20 odd, about 25 spring rolls. They've got more to make. They're all going in the freezer. We like spring rolls. These are 90% vegetable and about 10% pork mince. So that you wouldn't, you know, you struggle to find the pork mince in the spring roll. But they're a good go-to meal. They freeze well, they keep frozen for a good couple of months, no problem. So we want to have a quick meal, we'll just take them out the night before, let them thaw, cook them up. Make a bit of peanut sauce, I might make that next time. Breath of wind tonight. I like just a potato curry, actually. Onions, garlic, tiny bit of ginger, mainly potatoes. Say, sit on your veranda on that beautiful 22 degree day. Is your porch covered or is it open? Yeah, cauliflower is nice. Fine balance getting cauliflower in a curry, right? You don't want it soggy, but you don't want it firm, so you've got to get right in the middle. Pulled up my big, uh, well, it wasn't big, but basil bush today. Front is open. Well, that's the front one's facing the ocean, I think you were saying. Yeah, pulled the basil bush out, kept the roots and washed all the roots, all the dirt out of the roots, and hung it up in the laundry. About a 
week, put a bag underneath it, in about three weeks I'll be able to crush it because it'll all be crunchy. I'll have enough dried basil for the whole year. You sometimes, you don't have to grow a lot of plants. Like, I wouldn't grow more than one basil bush. Um, some people have like dozens in the garden. I'm thinking, what the hell are you going to do with that? The garlic's just starting to shoot off, which is good. Yeah, you just grow one and um, just so those, those flower heads start. You can pinch them off, you get, a, you get a bit of weeks leeway when the heads start to grow, you can pinch them all out, but then the whole plant starts to pinch little heads out. But that's at its prime then, you know, if you get it before it seeds, you've got all the oils and all that. That's why it dries, really. it's really strong dried. You know, you might throw five or six leaves in fresh but you'd only need like a quarter of a teaspoon by the time you've dried it or it's overpowering so that one plant is more than enough and I don't like a lot of people will try and dry like in a low oven I don't like that I like it naturally drying so all the bushes that I use for herbs I do the same You just throw that on a nice pizza base and you're away to go. Even by itself, it's nice. Bit of red onion too, throw that in, you like that. You ever tried to make your own uh, buffalo mozzarella? Yeah, it's a bit of faffing around, but I'm pretty sure if you had to make your own cheese, you could. So the shed will go up next week and the clothesline. We see next week the guy's coming for these roller shutters, too, isn't he? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, making cheese is pretty simple, really. It is easier, it's like, I've just made spring rolls. I can make the pastry. Actually, you can, how I've made spring roll wrappers before is like with a batter. Um, but yeah, I just buy packets of spring roll sheets and so I don't have to do that. was short of pastry. Actually, we had a toilet paper run months ago, then we had pastry going off the shelves. Don't know what people were doing with it. There were normally stacks of it. So I had to make my own, which I can do, but I'll make you say. If I don't have to, I won't.
Yeah, I want to finish on it before I put it down. I don't know. We're not on for that long, but Buttercup's been in here. Tony was in here. Uh, not many people. We're on a bit late, actually, because I've been making spring rolls. They come and go, and they drift in and drift out. It's just like a pub here. Could be a crowd in, or it could be bugger all. It's really warm enough to have a beer, isn't it? Yeah, no, the wife speaks too much. She just goes on and playing on. Just, she's playing a game. Do you want to show V mate your Yahtzee game? Fine. I'm sure she knows what Yahtzee is. Okay, well, the answer is no. It's fine, don't get stroppy. I'm not getting stroppy. You are. She's seen your eyebrows go up and down. Did not. Up and down they went, up and down. I didn't know, I washed the cup up because it's all yuck. Today is a work day. That's okay, good to see you. How many hours are you doing today? Or you just do what you like, I guess. When I work for this book company, selling books and literature to professors and lecturers at universities and colleges. I had about a week where I was phoning the US. They wanted to release some sort of new material. And I had the same thing every time. I'd phone them and say, blah, 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 blah. And they'd say, oh, you're an Aussie. they go, yep. So all they wanted to talk about was Australia. I'd, I'd end up saying, look, I mean, I'm here trying to sell you something from this company. You're going to buy anything? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we'll buy something. But how big is ko how big are koalas? <laughs> Eighty ounce. Woo. Yeah, the most I would do online phoning would be about twenty five hours. Like say after about four hours, I'm sort of uh, I'm done. And most of the time I'm speaking to the same people. There, there are something like, I don't know, 8,000 schools in Australia and about 250 universities and colleges. 40. Ooh. Yeah, you're probably taking on extra load, I guess. But you don't speak to the same people. And some would, some would just tell me when, when the, the new series for lecture books come out, just just send them out. So they sort of pre-sign whatever material we had in that subject matter, and I would not even phone them. I'd just place the order for them. But there's more money to be made in books for primary school students than there are for senior and college and university because the numbers of books you know for a primary school you could be selling 20 of the same book books are so expensive now too my goodness but at least i think it's been years since i worked for the county but at least Schools are still getting books, and not just using digital. But I think we'll turtle off, as I've got more spring rolls to make, and the wife just won't stop talking. I mean, look at her. On and on and on. Okay. Fatty Yancey. So, if you're there, Vimek, have a great day. Eight hours, looking at the screen. Man, must have a lot of coffee going down. A few bars of chocolate, just keep it going. Have a good one. See ya.